Give me one second. Alright, right, guys, so what we're doing is we're going to be mending up our greenhouse that has been, before we got here, smashed a bit so glass was pinched. So we're just doing it up with some uh, plastic perspex that we got from Germany. We got 40, uh, 36 sheets for £80. It's cheaper than being cute, which is £30 for one sheet. So we're just doing it, but we're not doing it perfect because on this allotment we do tend to get targeted burgled people pinch things so we're pretty up and then we're just making it a bit look a bit untidy so no one thinks new plastic we'll have it so all I'm doing is putting this window seal down each side and then we're putting each panel this perspex and then we can get it off not the thickest stuff but it does a job that's all we need it to do and we'll try and get this side done and if possible the roof today and now I've stuck this together <laughs> so I'm gonna crack on so the way we're doing this is a clever way as well we've got some of this timber left from the from the shed what we're doing Put it to the size of the frame, <laughs> putting one on bottom and one on top. Simple fact is because this perspex is just a little bit short. But to solve that, piece of wood on top, piece of wood on bottom, as you can see on this bit here, we then screwed the perspex to it. It's solid because this has all been sealanted in. That's screwed on. The only thing is, we have to overlap the perspex slightly. And then we seal it together with some uh, tape. W weatherproof tape. And we'll have re redone all this entire greenhouse for, for around £80. Which is far cheaper than reglazing or buying a new one. Just a bit of extra work, which I don't mind doing. So, you need blind here, aren't you? As you can see, we've got one on the top, one at the bottom, and then this perspex will go on the outside, and we'll screw in halfway across the wood. We'll get another piece. We'll cut it. I'll show you how it's done. It may seem like a lot of work, but you know, you've got to remember it's just an allotment. I lost the light, I've seen your eyes. I come here down, let it shine. I see your shadow, it's all I know. Tell me now, where did you go? I lost the light. Precision engineering. Perfect. 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 Are we done? Keep on. Ow. Proper need a big old look <laughs> Cracking my head on it. So, as you can see, there's a tiny little gap, but we're just going to cut another piece off like we have done. From the outside, overlap it, and then what we're going to do is just seal all this in. We weatherproof sealant, just like we have there, and then some weatherproof tape on the inside, and then jobs are good in. That'll do. That'll do. 
I made that mistake on the day. I scrubbed that end in before I put bottom in. I think you should have built the greenhouse before you built the shed. I think I should have put my glasses on. <laughs> oh, do you know if I had had a drink this would be going perfect. Some weatherproof tape just to join it there and after that seal the entire outside with weatherproof sealant cheapest place I've seen screw fix not naming any names <laughs> and then it's done don't take long if you're looking to do it up cheaply go on Amazon in Germany do all this garlic and it's looking really well it'll be coming up in June we'll be taking this up hopefully it's been cold enough for the bulb to split because it needs to be really cold for the bulb to split that's how you get garlic we'll find out in June they'll have been in nine months um, it's looking a bit weedy now but we keep going over it but it's solid in there's plenty of water Top, so they've been getting fed well but I hope, I hope it works because it's the first time I've ever done this this uh, type of garlic so these are our onions that Poppy and Isabel planted um, a bit scattered, <laughs> but it doesn't matter. But they're coming on lovely. They've, it looks like they've all come up. It's got a big patch in the middle where they're in. Them. But they, they look like they're coming on lovely. And I don't know how true this is. I'm trying it. This is rosemary. Now I was told if you take a cutting from the top and pot it, it'll establish a root and grow. But if you take a cutting further down where the wood, in, wood bit is, that, that will work. But it'll take longer. If you take a cutting quite far down, really stalky bit, and you plant that, It'll take several months, but it'll grow its own root, and you'll grow a rosemary bush. So we, I've trialled it, one with a long cutting, and one with a short cutting, and it's not died yet. <laughs> so I did this in oh, when did I do it? September, October last year. They have grown, so I'm very hopeful. I'm just going to 
I'm going to try all this and see, see, see how it goes.